I mean, lose weight and you just get by, I mean. The latest news has struck me funny. Said you have no friends if you haven't got money. And all of us good folks in distress. But I'm gonna get something off of my chest. 1932 won't be long. And when you place your vote, please don't vote wrong. Vote away those blues, the breadline blues. I've been shopping at the food bank for about the last year to a year and a half. It's a very good day at the food bank. Yes, it is. This is a big, big help to me. One day, a woman came in, and she was crying, sitting across from me, wanting to sign up, and telling me how she had lost her job, lost her home, she and her three kids were living in her car, and she didn't know what to do or where to turn. They had no food. And so, you know, I signed her up and gave her a bunch of food. Wow, that's heavy. Thank you very much. All right, you too. Eric loves eggnog now. I've been told them that I'm going to the food bank. I don't know why, really. I just, I feel a little bit of shame around it. Organic baby spring mix, that's awesome. It's a rich man's job to make some rules in order to rid my bread line. I had a good job, I got laid off. Uh, I had another good job, I got laid off from that. Yeah, they told me I could stay in the house. They like re prefer me to be in the house rather than after they foreclosed on it, and three days later they had an eviction notice. I have a bachelor's of, of business from Colorado State, class of 95, um, and I've used it, and I'm here anyway, and I am not alone. Another thing I haven't told my kids is that I'm behind on the mortgage, and I'm really scared. How do you pay the rent at $735 a month? Um, well, I, I don't, I have a room from a friend that I rent, you know, just kindness. I mean, I find the people with less give more.